The BCS pole bash on Fox continues tonight in South Florida. Fox Sports welcomes you to Dolphin Stadium in Miami for the 74th FedEx Orange Bowl featuring 11 and 1 Kansas going up against 11 and 2 Virginia Tech. Scott Webb will get things started for the Jayhawks. Eddie Royal back deep for the Hokies. These schools have never met on the gridiron. The 74th FedEx Orange Bowl is underway. Taken out of the end zone by Eddie Royal. Royal across the 30. Across midfield and is finally forced out of bounds by the kicker. Webb will start from the Kansas 41-yard line. The pitch to Kenny Lewis, Jr. Jeannie mentioned Brandon Orr suspended. Look at the Hokies offensive line hit by injuries earlier this season. And the backs and receivers, Josh Morgan, the leading receiver for the Hokies with 43 receptions. Two tight ends, second and six, Sean Glennon to the air for the first time of the pass intended for Josh Hyman. Our best corner on the on Kansas' field went a double move, and uh, he did an excellent job of covering. You had a look at James McClinton, the Big 12 defensive lineman of the year, a solid core of linebackers, and Coach Alvarez just spoke of the All-American, Aqib Tlaib, offense, defense, special teams. Third down and six. And Glennon's pass is caught for a first down by Justin Harper. They're going to rotate in during the course of the game. Could be back-to-back -back snaps. So Taylor on first down. Can't find anyone. Down he goes. And he loses his helmet as well. Russell Taylor, a freshman out of Hampton, Virginia. The plan was to redshirt Taylor this season. But Glennon suffered an injury back in September. Taylor. Taken down once again. This time it's Joe Mortensen. Glennon back in. Taylor on the field for two plays. The Hokies lost 19 yards. Third down and 29. Glennon with time. Complete to Lewis Jr., but he's tackled at the 38. For Kansas, he has returned only one punt all season. Brent Bowden's punt. Sails into the end zone. Todd Reesing out of the shotgun. First and ten from the 20-yard line. Reesing on first down. Reesing, a sophomore out of Austin, Texas, set 20 school records this season. Three receivers set. Reesing can't find anyone. And then throws it out of bounds. The men protecting Reesing. The offensive line anchored by the junior left tackle Anthony Collins. Kansas has allowed only 22 sacks all season. Dexton Fields, the empty backfield, third down and four. Jayhawks have to get to the 30. And Reesing's pass is incomplete. He was looking for the tight end, Derek Fine. Oh, he made the catch. Fine able to come up with it. And he picks up the first down. He his helmet came off, but he held on to the football. Complete to Brandon McAnderson. And the Lawrence native picks up a first down out to the 49. Watch formation to the left and the right. And the pass is caught, taken into the Virginia Tech defensive unit. 43 sacks for the Hokies. Chris Ellis with eight and a half. Vince Hall did start despite the injury suffered on the beach here in Miami and a terrific secondary Flowers and Harris each with five interceptions this season. Second down and eight from the Hokie 49 and the pass is caught at the 40 yard line by last year's starting quarterback Kerry Meyer from the Virginia Tech 40. Fine shifts into the backfield. Inside handoff, and Jake Sharp is forced back. I have yet to see something that Cam Chancellor can't do playing defense. He looks like a big linebacker out there. 
On second and eight, the option to Jake Sharp. Chancellor was not fooled. And then Reese looks over to the sidelines for the play call. Third down and six. Reese steps up. He takes off. Must get to the 30. And he's tackled a yard and a half shy. Going for it on fourth and one. Movement prior to the snap. Contact by the defense. No yard. Five yard penalty. Results. First down. Sharp and McAnderson split backs. Reesing with time. He's taken down. There's a penalty marker. Orion Martin. Officials get together. It's against the Jayhawks. 11th play of this drive for the Jayhawks. Second down and 20. Shovel pass to Sharp. Breaks a tackle. And is finally brought down. Third down and 11. Jayhawks must get to the 16. Reesing. To the end zone, out of bounds. Pass intended for Dexton Field. So Scott Webb, the senior from Tulsa, out to attempt a 44-yard field goal. It is no good, wide to the left. Three receivers set on first down. The give to Kenny Lewis, Jr. Should be satisfied on special teams. They're a little bit behind right now. Second down and one. Lewis, who gained nine on the previous play, picks up a first down out to the 38 yard line. So, and now Tyrod Taylor checks back in on first and 10 from the 39. Taylor's pass is caught at midfield by Eddie Royal. Taylor remains in the game, first and 10 from midfield. Take it into Jayhawks territory. Got to have those crossover plays that they both run well. On second and nine, Taylor's pass intercepted by Akeem Talib. And Talib is inside the 20, the 10, touchdown Kansas. Charge to number three for the high step into the end zone. That penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. For a touchdown, 60 yards. Following the web extra point, Mark Mangino's Jayhawks have taken a 7-0 lead. Tyrod Taylor picked off. Hakeem Tlaib takes it all the way. Hokey kickoff return team. Now they're kicking off from the 15. This is going to give them another shot for great field position. Webb's kickoff taken at the 17 by Royal. Royal tripped up, brings it back to the 45. Morgan in motion. Glennon complete. And Josh Hyman able to gain four yards. Does the defense have something to prove tonight? I think they do. That was mentioned at the luncheon. Glennon going deep to leave on the coverage. Josh Morgan, the intended receiver. You come out, you draw up a double move. Josh Morgan with an opportunity to make a big play lets it slip through his fingers. Hokies have to get to the Jayhawks, 45. Glennon over the top, complete first down and more. Justin Harper was out of bounds. Ruled out of bounds from the Jayhawks. 27, the end around to Eddie Royal. And he's tackled after a gain of just one. Second down and nine. Glennon wrapped up. Down he goes. James Holt. Third down and 14. Glennon out of the shotgun. Firing downfield. Incomplete. Out to attempt a 49-yard field goal. One shy of the school record for successful field goals in a single season. Dunleavy from 49. No good. Taken out of the end zone by Talib. Talib still on his feet. 
is brought down. Following the missed field goal on the return by Tlaib, Kansas starts from their own 39-yard line, and they keep it on the ground. Four receivers, Myers slot left. And the pass is short, intended for Desmond Briscoe. Reesing on third down, incomplete. A little miscommunication for the first time. Jayhawks did not punt very often. They've scored more touchdowns this year than punts. Fair catch called for him at the 15-yard line. Particularly their defense. Off the play fake on first down. Glennon is taken down. Back at the 13-yard line. Four sacks here in the first quarter for Kansas. Kenny Lewis Jr. out to the 20-yard line. First quarter comes to an end in Miami. Four sacks for the Kansas defense. And the only touchdown scored by the Jayhawks defense. 7-0 Kansas after one. Academic <laughs> 14 academic All-Americans on the Kansas roster. Glennon on third and five, intercepted. Second pick of the game for the Jayhawks. It's Chris Harris, the freshman. The second Hokies turnover. Reesing can't find it one downfield. And is taken down at the 28-yard line after picking up three. Second down and seven. He is scrambled. Racing finally throws it out of bounds. Third down and seven. Empty backfield. Jayhawks have to get to the 21, and they do. It's a first down. Fine shifts into the backfield. Reesing hands it off to McAnderson. And McAnderson. Reesing now split to the left. Direct snap to McAnderson. And McAnderson is wrapped up at the 14-yard line. Kansas, the only school that offered him a scholarship on offense. Everybody else wanted it to play linebacker. Penalty marker on third and five as Reesing's pass. Illegal formation. Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. The penalties decline. Fourth down. Listed at 5-11. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Scott Webb. And Webb connects from 32 yards out. So the Jayhawks extend their lead. Early second quarter in Miami. It is now 10-0 Kansas. All 10 of their points off turnovers. They lead Virginia Tech 10-0. Short kickoff by Webb, taken at the 19 by Morgan. And Morgan is tackled as he crosses the 30. You know, get into some option offense right now. The passing game has not worked for Virginia Tech. Taylor hands it off. Take it up to the 34-yard line. Now Taylor drops back into the shotgun on second and seven. Ooh. Oh, he takes a hard hit at the 38-yard line. Preparation for this game. The mental part, you know, it's not all about being physical on the football field. It's knowing your job. Steve's doing a great job making sure his guys are ready to play. Taylor on third and two. Then let them be the physical presence on the field. The linebackers are the... Top three tacklers on the Kansas squad. Here's Tlaib on the return. Across the 40, out of bounds. McAnderson and Sharp in the backfield. First and 10, 41-yard line. This is Sharp up the middle, and Jake Sharp gains eight. Now, former Washington Redskin, now an assistant coach with the Arizona Cardinals, Russ Grimm. Brandon McAnderson picks up a Kansas first down. 
from the Hokey 48, racing in trouble. Down he goes, back at the 45-yard line. Second down and 17, racing out of the shotgun. Swings it out to Jake Sharp. And Sharp, third down and 19 for the Jayhawks, who lead 10-0. Four receivers, racing to Sharp, and Sharp is close to a first down, tackled by Brandon Flowers. First down, Kansas. Marcus Henry. High snap. Racing. Fires downfield, and the catch is made at the 18-yard line by Desmond Brisco. <laughs> From the Virginia Tech 18, this time a low snap. And second and 10. From the Virginia Tech 18. Perfect snap, the toss to McAnderson. And Brandon McAnderson. Four receivers set for Kansas, third down. And five. Reesing fires. Touchdown, Jayhawks. Marcus Henry with his tenth touchdown reception of the season. Jayhawk in school history with. 10 touchdown receptions in one season, and Reesing sets a new school record, the 36th touchdown pass of his career. 17-0 Jayhawks. Find that lane before he releases the ball. Short kickoff by Webb, taken at the 25 by Josh Morgan. Morgan. Sean Glennon and the Hokies begin from their own 32. Glennon swings it out to Morgan, and Morgan for the Hokies so far. Second down and seven. This is Orr up the middle. Brandon Orr out across the 40 between the tackles right now. This is an important third down conversion right here. Third down and one. This is Orr. He picks up a first down into Kansas territory. Brandon Orr. First and 10 from the Kansas 49. Again, it's Orr. And Orr picks up second down and six. Lennon hands it off Orr. And this time able to gain Kansas leading Virginia Tech 17-0. Third down and five. Orr, broke a tackle, picks up a first down. Good second effort. Well, he's the guy who sat out the first quarter. Phil probably feels like he let his teammates down. This is Orr. Orr gaining four more yards. 35 points per game over their last five. Shut out so far today. Second down and six. Glennon tackled by Larson. Personal foul. Face mask. 87 on the defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. First down. That sideline was, was flat. There was no emotion at all. This drive is. Added a little bit of life to that side of the field. The toss to Brandon Orr. And Orr takes it down. But this is what I, I think they were concerned about, being, being mushed a little. Here's Orr on second down inside the 10. And Orr. And Brandon Orr picks up the Hokies first down. First and goal from the Kansas 2. Orr. And Orr is stopped. Second and goal from the wall. Brandon Orr is in for the touchdown. You kind of fill that spot where the ball is going to. Just a great job by that hokey offensive line. An important 11 drive. Yeah, 11 it, carries, 48 yards, and a touchdown. Running the football. Pays off with a touchdown. So the Hokies are on the scoreboard. They now trail the Jayhawks by 10.
Kickoff taken up the 15-yard line by the Big 12 Special Teams Player of the Year, Marcus Herford, will start from their own 23. McAndrews to the lone back, three receivers set. Brandon McAnderson running left. And McAnderson, second and nine, racing out of the shotgun. From the 24-yard line, inside handoff to Jake Sharp. And Virginia Tech will call another timeout. Third down and five, Jayhawks have to get to the 33. Reesing fires, Curry Meyer makes the catch for a Kansas first down. Playing wide receiver, making a, a catch on his back hip. Jayhawks using a lot of time prior to the snap. They have all three of their timeouts. So the Jayhawks will take a 17-7 lead into the locker room at halftime. Kansas scoring their first touchdown on defense. They have a 10-point lead, and head coach Mark Mangino at all four tonight came in the first quarter. Kansas deferred at the start of the game, so they received the second half kickoff. This is Marcus Herford. Herford brought down just shy. Three wide receivers set. Reesing's pass is caught at the 29-yard line by Dexton Fields. Second down and four. And McAnderson brought down at the 31-yard line. Four receivers set for the Jayhawks. They have to get to the 34 for a first down. Reesing to the outside. Complete first down, Kansas. Dexton Fields. They Akeem Tlaib is on the field. Reese's oh, pass is caught by Tlaib, but he is met immediately. Being able to get anything going after the catch. Loss of six, second and 16. Tlaib remains on the field. Reesing in trouble. Down he goes. Orion Martin. Reesing looking for Tlaib. It was knocked away. Terrific coverage. Good kick by Tucker. The trickery from the Hokies on special teams. There is a flag on the field. Another flag. As Justin Hopper takes it all the way. Two flags. Nation, offense number 16. The penalty is the crime. No results. Touchdown. That situation, they come back and get you with a great punt return. So the Hokies, who trail 17-0, have scored 14 points in the last four minutes, 49 seconds. An 84-yard punt return touchdown. Justin Harper, Kansas lead, cut to three. Puts his best players out. Marcus Herford backpedals from the goal line. Herford stopped just shy of the 20. Down to three. Reesing on first and 10 from the 20. Good coverage downfield. Now he lobs one up. And it is out of bounds. Cam Chancellor. Done well all season long. This is a high risk throw. He's lucky he got away with that. Second and 10. Four receivers set. Racing in trouble. Down he goes. Carlton Powell. Hokies third in the nation in sacks. Shovel pass to Sharp. And he is wrapped up and brought down. He's Eddie Royal back deep. Kyle Tucker. Good kick. 
Takes a Kansas bounce. What a great kick. And finally comes to a stop at the 18-yard line. The 84-yard punt return touchdown by Virginia Tech's Justin Harper. Sean Glennon going deep. And a penalty marker pass intended for Josh Morgan. I admit that did surprise Preston me a little bit right there. Defense, number 16, 15-yard penalty, automatic. There he is. Ooh. Nice move. First down to the 47-yard line since he entered the game in the second quarter. Off the play fake. Glennon going deep for Eddie Royal. Who came down with it? There's a battle for the ball. And the catch was made. Greg Boone. Justin Thornton, to keep to leave in great position. They're fighting amongst themselves. There it is, sitting right on the top. Oh. What a heads-up play by Greg Boone. Wow. Following the review, replay has confirmed the call on the field. We have a catch. First down. What a bizarre play. First and 10 from the 16-yard line. Orr takes it down to the 11 gate of five. Brandon Orr's hot. Second and five, this is Orr. Looks to turn the corner, but is forced out of bounds by Chris Harris. They keep it on the ground with Orr, and he's tackled after gaining just two. Defense is playing well. Judd Dunleavy, 25-yard oh. attempt, it's blocked! So Kansas taking a page out of the Virginia Tech playbook on special teams. I'll tell you what, both special teams are playing well and coming up with big plays. Come away with nothing following the block field goal. Kansas first and 10 from their own 20. Reesing to Meyer. Ball came loose, incomplete. Brandon. Second and 10 for Kansas from their own 20. Reesing is nearly picked off by D.J. Parker. Four wide receivers on the field. Third down and ten. Reesing dumps it off the fields. Oh, I just got to go. You just yeah. got to go. Eddie Royal back deep. End over end kick. Taken out the 34 by Royal. Penalty marker as Mortensen makes the tackle. It was Mortensen who blocked the field goal attempt. They've been running. They've taken some shots, but they've been running the ball, and he gives you a little bit more in the run game. Brandon Orr out across the 30 to the 32, a gain of seven. Two tight ends of the game, second and three. It's Orr, and Brandon Orr picks up a Virginia Tech. An FC wild card action this Sunday on Fox. Lennon airing it out. Out of bounds, Justin Harper. Tyrod Taylor in the game for the first time since the first quarter. And Taylor's Lennon back in. Third down and four. Hokies have to get across midfield. Lennon in trouble. Down he goes at the 47 yard line. Akeem Talib back deep for Kansas. He had a 17-yard return earlier. This time calls for the fair catch. Worst starting field position of the game for Kansas from their own 12. Reesing complete to a wide-open Dexton Fields. And Fields tackled by Vince Hall. Four wide receivers set from the 49. Reesing dropped by Briscoe. Second and ten. Reesing. Briscoe. Incomplete. And that 37-yard pickup, Darrell. More yards than Kansas gained on their previous 15 plays combined. As Reesing lobs one up, it's deflected. It's a fake. McAnderson throws a pass, and it's caught for a first down and more. 
by Micah Brown. So another huge special teams play by the Jayhawks. Reesing out of bounds at the one, Dexton Fields. First and goal from the Virginia Tech one. This drive started all the way back at the 12-yard line. McAnderson, stutter step. Balls up. Ball came loose. And it looks like the Jayhawks. Following the play, dead ball, personal foul on the offense from the 50. The oh. yard penalty will be second down. Forces the Jayhawks back to the 19-yard line. Second and goal. Another flag as the catch is made by McAnderson. Holding, 66, offense, 10 yards, previous spot. Still That's second our down. second and goal from the 30. Reesing's pass is intercepted by D.J. Parker. His third interception of the season. There is a flag. What a stand. Following the interception. Personal foul, number 99, late hit. That'll be half the distance to the goal. Virginia Tech's ball. And final minute, third quarter. Kansas leading by three. Brandon Orr running right. Knocked out of bounds at the nine after a game. Second down and seven. Went into the outside, Josh Morgan. Picks up a Virginia Tech first down. Well, Howie, I'm sure Howie's very proud of him. What a great year he had. We head to the fourth quarter here in Miami. Jayhawks over the Hokies by three. First play of the fourth quarter. Glenn's pass is gathered in by Josh Morgan at the 47-yard line, but now... He's ruled out of bounds. Pass caught by the fullback, Carlton Weatherford. Or down an eight. Lennon's pass incomplete. Deflected away. Punt nearly blocked. Comes to a fault at the 33-yard line. They're no foul ahead. on the play. The block in question was legal. Racing moving to his right. Wrapped up by Carlton Powell and taken down the fifth. Racing on second down. Jayhawks have to get to the 43 for a first down. And they cannot pass Tucker. Hunting from his own 22. Tucker's done a nice job today. Takes a Kansas bounce. And finally stops at the nine-yard line. Kansas punter Kyle Tucker. He has averaged 50 yards per punt. He has pinned Virginia Tech inside the 20 of the Virginia Tech special teams. Terrific job on special teams by Kansas tonight as Glennon throws it away, nearly intercepted. Third down and eight. Virginia Tech trailing by three. And this time Glennon is intercepted by Justin Thornton. And Thornton takes it inside the five. The third interception for the Jayhawks defense. Following the turnover, first and goal, Kansas from the two. And Reesing dies for the end zone. He's in. Touchdown. Jayhawks have scored 17 of their 24 points tonight following interceptions. The 
picked off twice tonight. Taylor intercepted once. And the Jayhawks have turned those three interceptions into 17 of their 24 points. Morgan on the return for the Hokies. Or you keep throwing it down the field. They've got 10 minutes and 50 seconds left. I'm down 14 po or 10 points. I start running the football. False start. 67. Offense, five yards. Still first down. Following the penalty, first down and 15. Taylor looking to throw. Now he takes off and dives ahead. Sean Glennon told us it tells you something about the relationship. Second down and eight. Glennon in trouble. Down he goes back at the 27-yard line. Third down and 15. Hokies have to get to the 43. Glennon with time. Fires across the field. Out of bounds. Brent Bowden's punt. Bounces in front of a keep to lead. Takes a Hokies roll. And as they lead Virginia Tech 24 14. First and 10, 28 yard line. Brandon McAnderson, first down and more. Into Hokies territory, finally tackled by Macho Harris. Formations used by Kansas's offense this evening. Racing. Racing down to the 36 yard line. Second down and two. The pitch to Sharp. And Jake Sharp has a first down. First and 10 from the 30. Sharp. Picks up five. Racing to Sharp. Sharp. And he's wrapped up by Hall. Vince Hall comes up. Fourth down and two from the 22-yard line. Off the play fake to McAnderson. Reesing looking for the tight end. Fine. But it was broken up. Trailing by 10. 5.51 remaining. Fourth quarter. From their own 22-yard line. Glennon to the outside. Morgan. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Second and short, quarterback sneak. The strength of Virginia Tech when you're talking special teams. We felt they needed to break even. They've actually won that battle tonight. Second and 10, Glenn gets rid of it, and the catch is made at the 45-yard line. First and 10 from their own 46. Lennon, near side incomplete. He was looking for Royal at quarterback tonight for the Hokies. Second and ten. Lennon oh. escapes. He's across, across midfield and then forced out of bounds, which gave Kansas a ten-point lead. Lennon on third and six, bobbled and dropped by Harper. He would have had... Hokies now facing a fourth down and six. And Glennon's pass. Field hustling down the field when that ball was laying on Eddie Royal's stomach was down to make that play for the Hokies. Glennon this time out of bounds. Second and ten from the Kansas 43. Glenn over the top, Harper. That's for the sidelines. Out of the FedEx Orange Bowl since 1968. The last time an interception was returned for a score at the FedEx Orange Bowl. As Kansas leading by 10. Okay. Lennon nearly intercepted again by Tlaib. 13th play of the drive for the Hokies. Lennon over the top to Orr. And Orr is down. Third down and one from the 21. Inside handoff to Orr. And he's tackled by Larson. 
Just let 17 nothing. Hokies cut it to 17 14. Lenin to the end zone. What a catch by Harper for a touchdown. His second touchdown of the game. Oh, there's three Kansas defenders there. Everybody's kind of watching the ball. Drive. The extra point is good. And with three minutes remaining, Virginia Tech once again within three. And the outside kick is Bob Reesing and the Jayhawks with a three point lead from the Virginia Tech. 42, McAnderson, gain of three. Kansas leading by three, second down and six. Reesing looking downfield, he throws, and the catch is made for a first down. From the 29, McAnderson. And McAnderson works his way down. Virginia Tech, out of timeouts. McAnderson picks up a first down. I mean, Brandon McAnderson, I mean, a blocking fullback. You know, how are you going to find a spot in a spread offense as a blocking fullback? I mean, that's, that's one of the things that Kansas wanted to do tonight was come out and show they belong, and they have. McAnderson again. Four down and two. Under a minute remaining, the toss to McAnderson, inside the five. He picked up a first down, stopped shy of the goal line. The Kansas Jayhawks will finish the season at 12 and one. The first one loss season for Kansas since 1947. They're not going to let him get out of there without the Gatorade bath, are they? I think he had protection. <laughs> Beat the Virginia Tech Hokies in the FedEx Orange Bowl by the score of 24-21. We'll return to Miami in a moment.